Good afternoon, it's the Educated Grunt here. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to my review of the Outer Worlds by Obsidian Games. Um, but first I'd like to take a minute to uh, recognize a couple of my sponsors. The first sponsor I'd like to recognize is Nick's Haberdashery. Nick's Haberdashery is an eBay retail retailer that uh, specializes in higher end men's clothing some women's clothing, shoes, some cl clothing for children, all sorts of different uh, unique uh, items you might want to uh, look into. They're a top rated eBay seller and uh, they definitely should be uh, taken a look at. My second sponsor I'd like to uh, give a shout out to is Lynx Library. Lynx Library is an Amazon book and toy store that uh, has been around for a couple years. They're uh, they have a great selection of mostly nonfiction books and uh, some some anti antiquarian books as well. So give them a uh, give them a, give them a look, and uh, I'll put uh, links to both stores in the description below. And without further ado, let's uh, get on with our presentation: the review of the Outer Worlds game by Obsidian Entertainment. I've been a gamer since I was about eight years old. I uh, Started playing old school pen and paper, Dungeons and Dragons, uh, at my uncle's hobby shop. He owned a hobby shop in Minneapolis where I grew up. And uh, I eventually graduated on to other games like Traveler and uh, other uh, role playing games. I've always loved the genre. So when the first computer games start, first started coming out, I was very excited. Uh, I remember the first computer game we played uh, was uh, Wizardry on the old school Apple IIs. And I loved it. And then I kind of graduated on to uh, Baldur's Gate. And uh, also I got into uh, just the whole genre of role playing. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I got into uh, Diablo. And then I really got into uh, the Witcher series. That was a fun series. Uh, I also played a lot of Cyberpunk, the old school uh, role playing game. So I'm really looking forward to this new Cyberpunk that's coming out as well in the future. Um, just a little disclaimer I'm not a paid shill. I had to buy my game just like everybody else. I'm not getting any consideration. I'm just a regular guy reviewing a game. Um, this game is beautiful. Uh, visually, it's stunning. Um, the company that made this uh, 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 Obsidian also made the uh, Fallout New Vegas game, which in my opinion was the best of the Fallout series. I've gotten uh, recently into Fallout 4, especially into the modding aspect of it, but there's so many glitches. They put this game out. Th they didn't do any testing. I I I'm sorry, but they really didn't. Um, and that's a shame, too, because uh, Fallout 4 could have been a wonderful game. I have not played Fallout 76. I haven't purchased it partially because of the terrible reviews I've read and uh, partially because I don't like massive uh, online role-playing games that much. Uh, the, the griefers and the, the, the shit talkers, I just don't have a time for that nonsense. Uh, I play a game because I enjoy it. And this game I thoroughly enjoyed. The Outer Worlds was storyline is wonderful. Um, you're, it's set up in a space colony in the in the future, and it's just a beautiful game. Um, there is hardly any glitches to it. I haven't ran into any, and I completed it. Uh, I, I played it straight through in about 35 hours, and I was doing side quests and things. I'm very meticulous when I play games like this. I like to do all the side quests, get all the items, get every little ounce out of it I can for my for my 50 or 60 dollars worth. And uh, I, I had a ball. This game was wonderful. I stayed up all night one night playing it. Um, eyes were bloodshot and red, but it was well worth it. Um, my only complaint is the game is too short. But uh, they'll be coming out with DLCs, I'm sure. And I'm really anxious to see what the mod community can do with this as well. This was going to be a really fun game. Um, Bethesda had better look out, too, because... This is how you make a game. The storyline is awesome. It's hilarious with all sorts of this corporate double speak and just it's just hilarious. Um, it was very imaginative and uh, it, it just felt the immersion of it felt really really cool. Um, 
I'm going to be putting up some uh, of the screenshots of me me playing a little bit, uh, little little footage and stuff like that, so you can see for yourself how stunning this game really is. Um, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I think you would really enjoy it as well. It's definitely uh, worth getting. Um, and I don't usually say that. I'm pretty picky about my games, and oftentimes I've been disappointed recently. But this one is wonderful. I want to see more from Obsidian. Um, I just I can't say enough good about this. Some of the uh, corporate ads they put in this game, and uh, in some of the cut scenes while it's loading are hilarious. The load time is is very fast. Uh, as opposed to like Fallout and uh, Skyrim. Skyrim, in my opinion, was the last really decent game that uh, that uh, Bethesda came out with, and that even had some glitches and stuff. But the mod community has really come forward and stepped up the game a lot as far as uh, that that title goes. But uh, like I said, just look at my, my my gameplay footage that I put in here. Take a look for yourself. You'll see this is a wonderful game. Uh, I cannot wait until they come out with DLCs and more content. And uh, after a while, maybe I'll do another playthrough with a different style of character. This one I played was more of a, a stealthy um, thief kind of guy. Uh, good on lock picking and, and hacking terminals and things. And, and good with dialogue. Combat was me. But uh, if you can talk your way out of it, you don't need to fight, you know? Uh, this is the Educated Grunt. I want to thank you for spending your time with me today. Uh, if you please take a moment to like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll be sure to get back from you. And please take a look at my sponsors. Have yourself a wonderful day, and I look forward to you coming to my channel again in the future. Bye.